Hey everybody, welcome back to the Entitled People Show. Today, we're looking at some entitled brides. Is there anyone more entitled than a bride on her wedding day? Karens. <laughs> but let's face it, most bride-to-be's are Karens, so. <laughs> num, 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 num. Go f*** yourself. <laughs> How would you go about unasking someone to be your bridesmaid? Long story short, my fiance's best friend has been unable to use his phone since we've gotten engaged, so he couldn't ask him to be a groomsman. We got a hold of him and now we're a bridesmaid short. My future husband's other groomsman's girlfriend and I do not get along, and my future husband doesn't like her either. Out of desperation, we asked her to be a bridesmaid so she can walk with her husband. She says yes, I sent her a link for the dress, and then she tells me she's pregnant. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but a pregnant bridesmaid is just not what I see for my wedding, especially because I don't like her in the first place. Please don't judge me. Okay, Bridezilla, just tell her you don't want a pregnant chick in your wedding. You're already being gross, might as well be honest now. You didn't like her and you asked her, then you didn't ask any questions that might affect her playing her part, so just tell her. Seems like <laughs> I get that you're allowed to like not like somebody. And on your wedding, the last thing you want is someone walking down the aisle with you in your wedding party that you don't like. But you already asked her. <laughs> Why are you asking someone that you don't like to be in your wedding party? She's like kind of pregnant. Ugh. I literally was just told I cannot go to try on wedding dresses unless I'm wearing a mask. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, just wow. A mask with my wedding gown isn't exactly the look I'm going for. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have to wear a you don't have to wear a mask on your wedding. But if you're going into a store, you should probably wear a mask. I don't know, maybe wait till after. After the pandemic is over. I, I don't know. That way you can have the whole bridezilla experience choosing your dress. Not to scare you, but I had a <laughs> bridesmaid experience. I was to be 33 weeks pregnant at the wedding and my friend wanted me in a dress that wasn't maternity or flowy. It was like a tight fitted mermaid style. She also wants me in four inch heels and wasn't willing to budge. Normally I would have been over backwards to do whatever I needed, but I'm already six feet and I've never worn heels. So I don't feel comfortable in such big heels in case I fell. And at 33 weeks pregnant, could not guarantee I'd still fit in such a skin tight dress. I ended up having to pull out and be a guest. I feel like that was kind of her intention. See, this is the thing. You could just make them incredibly miserable and then you don't have to tell them that you don't want them in your wedding party. I can't wait to be a bride. Any takers? Bro, so Shay talking about she wants all the groomsmen to have a fade. So everybody can look clean, cut in the pictures and everything. So what are you asking? You want me to cut my dreads, which I've been growing for seven years to be in the wedding? Yeah, bro, that's what she's saying. <laughs> oh, I just feel like you look like a little bit urban for me. You know, just a little urban. It just doesn't go with my aesthetic. Oh my God, what a good topic. Good job, Charlotte. <laughs> Big wedding announcement. I've noticed a lot of you who have RSVP'd have not sent a gift or signed up for my registry. That's pathetic and sad after all I've given others at their weddings. Don't even show up without a gift. I've spent my life savings on this wedding and it's disrespectful AF to not give a gift. You have one week to send a gift or I'm taking you off the guest list. If you need my address, PM me. I mean, you shouldn't have spent your life savings on your wedding though, let's be honest. Gifts are supposed to be, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't show up to a wedding without a gift, TBH. That's just me. But this will just make people drop out, I'm just saying, they probably don't. And then you'll end up wasting money on food that would have been eaten and now it won't be. <laughs> Cause people will not come to your wedding after reading this. Don't post about it on Facebook. Just talk <laughs> about them behind their back. <laughs> Found this bridezilla on Facebook. It was someone who had been trying to get along with the new bride because she's friends with her fiance, but this was the last straw. Hey, so with my wedding, I wanted to ask if you could please make sure your tattoos are covered and could you maybe fix up your hair so it's a natural color? I'm sure, I'm assuming that means color. We put a lot of work into our theme and I'm sorry, but your look clashes with it. 
even if you just put some spray or something on your hair for the night. I just want it to all look perfect and I can send you some ideas, nice long sleeve dresses for you to wear or just wear a jacket. If you want, I can give you a blanks number because I asked her the same thing and you two could go shopping together. Um, The wedding is in the summer so I'm not sure I could wear a long sleeve dress or jacket. I'm really sensitive to heat so I just don't think that I could do that if it's a hot day. I can look into a spray, I guess. I definitely can't dye it because it's been a lot of work to lighten it to this blue and I'm planning to go a bit darker, but yeah, I'll look into some options for my hair. I know it's hot, but it's my one day. <laughs> That's what they say. But it's my day. This is supposed to be my day. <laughs> so if you can't suck it up, I feel like you don't really care about me or blank and should probably not come. Didn't she just say that she would do it? I'm not asking much and it's not my fault you get hot. <laughs> Buy some makeup for your tattoos, then if you want to be in my wedding, you'll figure it out. Blank is in full agreement with me on this, so don't bother texting him like I know you're planning to. If you turn up on the day without anything covered, you won't be let into the venue. Wow, so if I don't give myself heat stress, I don't love you guys. Makeup that covers tattoos is crazy expensive, and just so you know, I literally just had a car accident, and I'm going to be struggling for the next couple months. Like I know this isn't till December. I thought you said it was in the summer, that's super confusing. Like I know this isn't till December, but you know what this year has been like for us. I'm not in your wedding party, so I just don't think this is fair to ask. Oh my gosh, she's not even in the wedding party? <sighs> Yeah, I know you had an accident, but your money issues aren't my problem. If you want to be there, you will figure it out. It doesn't matter that you're not in the wedding party. You'll still be in photos and you'll ruin them. <gasps> you're very pretty normally, but your look doesn't work for my wedding. And it's very fair to ask you to do something simple. So my day is perfect. You mean to tell me that there are women like this who have husbands or future husbands and I don't? <laughs> it's like, are you freaking serious? Like I'm so low maintenance compared to these psychos. Like, <laughs> are you freaking kidding me right now? Sometimes I hear about this stuff and I'm like, is that what I need to do to get a husband? Act like a total psychopath? Cause it makes sense as to why I'm single then. <laughs> I only act like a psycho on camera. <laughs> Okay, so question. I have a maid of honor and three bridesmaids. My maid of honor and two of my bridesmaids love the dress I picked out for them and have ordered it. It is $265. Now I totally know that not everyone can afford that, but all my bridesmaids have waited 36 years for me to get married. I just found out today that one of them wasn't planning to spend much more than $150. What do I do if the other three of the four have the same dress? Picture is one of our engagement photos. I'm just going out on a limb and I'm gonna say that they haven't been waiting their whole lives to watch you get married. Uh, that's probably, you know, they're probably excited for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> They've just been waiting for this moment their whole lives. <laughs> no, they haven't. COVID bridezilla demands guests pay $30,000. Say what now? This one's gonna take all my fingers. <laughs> Hi, members of the blank wedding of winter 2020. Hope y'all are doing great and getting all of your wedding gifts. Ha ha. Ha ha. Prepared and your cold hard cash and your large housewarming gifts for blank and I. We really cannot wait to see you all and receive your gifts. Lol. This December. In all seriousness, we are asking our guests not to change their attendance because of COVID. We have had a handful of guests decide not to attend our wedding because of COVID fears. Fears. You're afraid of COVID. This is dangerous because we have a $20,000 plus monetary goal minimum. Ladies and gentlemen, most of this money will help cover the cost of the amazing wedding and that goes right back to you. This is for you. Think of all the food and drinks and fun you will have, heaven forbid. If y'all are generous, we will actually get to book our European tour. Ideally, y'all will donate upwards of $30,000 so Blank and I can spend a month traveling, bar hopping, swinging, and more in Europe. Swinging. Please have a bit of empathy for Blank and I because COVID and its nonsense has actually added depression into our lives. So we really need y'all to open your wallets and just give a little bit. As a bit of a motivator, we have decided on some guest giving tears. Zero dollars to $1,000 donation. Thank you card with my kiss stain signature. Yay, just what I wanted. $1,000, $1,500. Thank you card with kiss stain signature. My wedding thong mailed separately. <laughs> with her husband's consent. 
$1,500, a $2,500 donation, a night with blank and eye, bottle of barefoot wine. Barefoot wine is the cheapest friggin' wine there is. Lint chocolates fed to you. <laughs> $2,500 to $3,500, party thrown with just us and a ceremony and appreciation, 18 plus. $3,500 to $5,000, invitation to join blank and I for part of our honeymoon, but you will sleep on the couch. <laughs> $5,000 to $6,500 ultimate prize weekend getaway with blank and I where we drown you in affection and spoil you. All right. As much as we would love for you to attend, sadly, our venue cannot accommodate everyone. We are sure to keep you in our hearts in the celebration of love. If you would like to congratulate the bride and groom, rather than a registry, they are accepting money to aid in a beautiful honeymoon. Oh, we're not inviting you to our wedding, but we invite you to give us money. Pay up. Who's gonna be a friend? Oh, from me, love. I have a bridesmaid that dyed her hair really purple. Since the beginning, we've said everyone has to have neutral or normal hair. Now this, my wedding is less than eight months. Other brides, how would you handle this situation? Bridesmaids said it will fade and she won't re-dye it because her hair got fried while doing this color. Help. This is really one of my good friends. I'm sorry, you, you expect her to have, like dedicate her hair color for an entire year to your wedding? That's eight months away. That's, calm, calm down. Not everything is about, you get one day, psycho. One day to be a psycho. You don't get an entire year. <laughs> it's my day. No, you get one day. <laughs> one day to be a massive C word. I offered to help my friend cater a wedding this weekend and now the bride wants us to match the wedding party, meaning buying something to wear that I can't afford. How did an offer of time and labor become an expense? <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, she can, she can, she can pay for that. <laughs> she can give you something to wear. <laughs> Just Subject, wedding question. Hello, my fiance and I are looking for a wedding photographer, but are having some issues with the contracts we are coming across. We are wanting a clause that guarantees us a refund should we ever get divorced, since we would not need the photos in that situation. Please let me know if this is something you have in your contract or would be willing to add, thank you. You know, I think I have actually read this before because this is bringing me back PTSD. You will never find a photographer that agrees to this, ever. So if this is what you're thinking, any of you, get it out of your heads. Imagine taking headshots for like acting and you never book a job. So you contact the photographer and say, oh, you know, you, uh, I never booked a job with this headshot. So I'm going to need my money back. I gotta say, if you're that worried about getting divorced, you shouldn't get married. Like, I'm just, if you're already thinking about everybody else in, in the wedding party signing a prenup, should you guys get divorced, you shouldn't go through with it. Facebook Bridezilla makes her partner repropose. He's in the Air Force and he proposed to me in front of an airplane. I was so embarrassed because that's pathetic. I asked him nicely if he could propose to me somewhere normal, like on the beach. He said he was extremely sorry and he will propose to be better next week. I'm so embarrassed. Anyone else have any embarrassing proposal stories to make me feel better? Update, he proposed to me today, surprising. He took me out for fancy seafood and then we went on a walk down the beach and then he popped the question. Oh, I'm so surprised, I had no idea. We are going to have our wedding very soon so I can get the benefits. I love him so much. Most of y'all have misunderstood this post, so let me make this a little bit more clear. I'm not marrying him for the benefits. <laughs> Sounds like it. Most military couples get married quick because it makes the relationship easier. And obviously we know we will be together forever, so we wanted to get married quick so I can get the benefits too. That shouldn't even be like a forethought, let alone something that you'd like tell people about. Like, oh, it could be something, oh, oh that's neat. Maybe I'll get a benefit. But don't tell her, oh, thank God, now I get benefits. Thank God there's a reason why I'm with him. Hi all, I need to vent. So I'm a COVID bride. My wedding was supposed to be July 31st, 2020, and we postponed to July 30th, 2021. My younger and only brother got engaged last week and they just booked the venue for October 22nd, 2021. I get that it's not before my wedding, which apparently his new fiance wanted, but am I wrong to feel like they are superseding my wedding and are inconsiderate that it was postponed due to a pandemic? Like, shouldn't I at least still get my year? It's not like it's a friend, it's my brother, expecting the same people to go to a wedding two months later for the same family. Oh, the cherry on top. They've been together nine months. My fiance and I have been together eight years. 
Our parents have not met hers yet. It's just, I think he's rushing and being completely rude. I don't mind opposing thoughts, just don't be nasty about it. Not my first response to if my brother got engaged. I'm just saying. <laughs> you don't get a year, guys, you don't. You get one day, okay? One. Hey, if you weren't informed by Mike, it's mine and Christian's wedding next month. If you're buying us gifts, the requirement is to buy us gifts above $250 for either me or Christian. So what you're saying is, is you want something over $250? Yep. Well then, don't expect me coming. We have beer, cocktails, cake. Well then, you're losing because we have so much people here that have confirmed. Yay, hooray. You're really missing out. I've like almost had it up to here on the entitled meter, but we're gonna do one more. No, look at them. I love them dearly, but neither of them are in a financial place to be in a wedding. And I can't have one without the other. And also blank looks like a boy now, so. All right, you guys. Those were some entitled brides. I've just really wondered this whole time why I'm single, you know? Like, what are you guys, what are you men doing with these people? Like, I, I don't get it. <laughs> oh, all right. Obviously, they must be very good in the sack. You must be a little bit pussy whipped, I'm just saying. <laughs> Subscribe!